Hello, my name is Amanda. I work for Medway Public Health. I'm the Physical Activity Specialist. Do make sure that you have a well ventilated room, so open the window or door to keep you cool. Your room needs to be well lit and no hazards, so nothing you can trip on around you. Make sure that you have a drink at hand, maybe out of the way, and you can stop and have a drink whenever you wish. Stretches help to increase flexibility in our muscles and to stop us becoming stiff after the exercise, also helping us to increase our range of movement. It's good to have a chair by your side for support or you can use a wall. The first stretch I'm going to show you is a calf stretch, which is in the lower back leg. So facing towards your chair, standing hip width apart, toes forward, nice long spine. Take one leg behind and push the back heel down to the ground. Checking your toes are pointing forward and bend the front knee in line with the ankle. Keeping your chest high and eye line forward, shoulders relaxed. Awareness to your breathing all the time. And maintaining a neutral spine. When you're ready, we step back together and repeat on the other side. Holding the stretch for around 15 to 30 seconds. If at any time you feel any discomfort with the stretches, do come out of the stretch. Again, awareness to your breathing. Feeling that stretch down the back of the thigh on the straight leg. And step back together. So our next stretch is the hamstring stretch, which is in the back of the thigh. And you may feel it a little down behind your knee. You can either do this with one hand facing forward with the chair by your side or you can do this facing toward the chair with both hands for more support. With this exercise we just place one foot in front, toe up, heel down and hinge forward from the hips, maintaining a nice long spine. Just soften through the back knee, so bend the back knee slightly. And if you wish, you can lower the front toe down for comfort. Again, eye line forward, keeping your head above the heart and pressing your hips back. Feeling that lovely stretch in the back of the thigh. When you are ready, coming up and stepping back together in a neutral spine. So I'm going to demonstrate now with one hand, taking the opposite forward foot in front and hinging from the hips, softening through the back knee, and if you wish, lowering the front toe down. Chest is high, ski slope back, eye line forwards. Just focusing on the breath. Feeling that stretch in the back of the thigh on the straight leg. 
when you are ready, coming up nice and tall and step back together. The next stretch we're going to do is the chest stretch. You may either place the hands onto the lower back and draw the elbows in, softening through the knees, chest high. Or if better for you, you can extend those arms, palms forwards and pull the shoulders back together. Feeling that nice stretch in the front of the chest, the shoulders and through the torso. And release. The next stretch is the upper back stretch. Taking the arms around in front like you're hugging a tree softening through the knees and pushing those arms forward, keeping the elbows out. Can you see I'm pushing through the middle of my back, making a dome shape in my chest? Looking down, if that feels good for you, to increase the stretch up into the neck. Or you can keep your head facing forwards. And release. The next stretch is for the side of the back. Lowering the arm down, keeping the shoulders back softening through those knees and stretches here. Focusing on the breath. Always maintaining toes forward, feet parallel and come back to centre, nice and tall. When you're ready, lean the opposite way. Checking that your weight is equal in both feet. And the stretch is here. Focusing on the breath. And when you're ready, coming up nice and slowly. So the last stretch is our tricep stretch in the back of the arm. Also good for shoulder mobility. Taking your hand up to your shoulder. Imagine you're undoing your shirt or blouse or necklace and place the supporting arm under the elbow. Gently move the elbow upward. It doesn't matter if your elbow is here or here. You're just trying to feel the stretch in the back of the arm. Avoid pulling on the arm or pushing. Just taking the arm to its natural point of bind, its natural range of movement. And you shouldn't feel any discomfort or pain. If you want to increase the stretch, if you are a little bit more flexible, you can take the hand over the head and hold on to the elbow. And when you are ready, release one arm at a time. So we're going to repeat on the other side.
If this is difficult and you're finding it hard to place the hand behind the neck, you could always take the arm around in front of you as an alternative. This stretch isn't quite as strong as the other stretch for the tricep, but you will find a gentle stretch in the back of the arm and shoulder. So this would be an alternative. And release. Well done.